guys today is the day my YouTube's plush is officially live on YouTube's. You can now pre-order my YouTube's cockatiel plush for a limited time. Remember that once this sells out, it's gone forever, so make sure you get in quick. I helped design the plush and it supports me and my animals directly if you do buy one. So thank you so much if you want to buy one. I'm so incredibly excited about this. Like, you guys know I've been talking about it so much, but I'm just so happy with this plush. I think the design is just so perfect and YouTube's did a really great job at making this. I, I'm, I love it so much. The link is down below for you can purchase this beautiful burb and again it's for a limited time so make sure you get in quick if you want one and yeah thank you guys so much. Hey guys it's Sydney here welcome back to another video. Today I Thank you, Kate. Today I'm back with another video where I'm going to watch some pet related YouTube videos you guys have sent me that I wanted to review. <laughs> Bird fluff in my face. So in my last video of doing this, uh, one of the videos I discovered was one of those monkey videos, which I've talked about briefly, but usually I don't really like to watch those ones too much, until I learned that those videos don't only involve monkeys, they also involve other animals like fish and bunnies and ducks, which made it even more concerning to me. I already don't like the whole monkey videos because I just don't think that these wild animals should be pets. Now I am not an expert on this, but I just don't like that they treat these monkeys like they're little little human babies. It's just really weird to me. These monkeys are not domesticated. If they're in captivity, they should be in an environment that replicates their natural wild environment, you know? Not treated like a human toddler. But even worse, I discovered that they also involve other animals like fish and stuff. Um, and it just kind of shocks me that this is like allowed on YouTube. We know that sometimes YouTube, they can be good with certain types of, you know, fake animal rescues, like fake turtle rescues we talked about. They do do a decent job at getting rid of those, but for some reason this is pretty, like, widely available, even on, like, YouTube Kids and stuff, and I don't think it's really appropriate for kids to be watching. So I did get sent some other ones by you guys that you wanted me to react to. So we're gonna look at some other ones today and see what we think. <laughs> All right, so this is one of them. Let's just get into it. Hello. Oh no, we already know it's gonna be bad when you see colorful eggs. Oh, there's a fish in there, you can see it. Oh wow, a goldfish. Oh jeez. So this is like a mix of the weird egg videos and a mix of the monkey videos in one. Black moors. These are pretty too. A big ass like koi fish. How is that even in there? And now there's a dog. What is going on? They always seem to have a lot of ducklings for some reason. No adult ducks though, just ducklings. Oh jeez. Oh, that was a short one. So this has 28 million views. Holy crap. Because kids watch them, kids don't know it's like wrong. Like, I don't know where they get these animals from. Usually like my theory is it's like some kind of animal farm or something, which is why they have so many just like different kinds of animals and usually they're like babies as well, like puppies. And I think I saw one with kittens uh, and ducklings and they're putting them all through the stress of putting them all in a pool together. Oh god, this is weird. What? Are they giving it actual baby powder? Like, <laughs> isn't that stuff on like short supply? I don't know, maybe it's something else. Hey, at least I got fake fish in this one. The music got really loud. <laughs> oh my god. Just throw that cat. <gasps> oh no. Oh, those poor cats! Look at them! The monkey's freaking out too, look! I think it's that she's like, crying. You can see its mouth keeps opening, probably because it's terrified. Oh, this is just so mean. The cat looks wet as well, did it fall in? Look at the cats, they're wet! Oh, oh my god! Yeah, this is a lot of stress for these animals to go through, and I don't think that they're enjoying it at all. I don't know why there's cats here. 
that are just like crying. Really soothing and relaxing. It makes me feel like I'm connected to the world. Or whoever is listening shares the same energy or feelings with me. What the f- what? The thing about these videos as well is the comments are always like just as weird as the video. Watching animals being like severely stressed makes you feel connected to the world. I mean, okay. Like all I see in this video is terrified animals, honestly. Like I already thought the rabbit one was really bad because rabbits aren't supposed to get wet, but kittens? Tiny little kittens? This one I saw uh, briefly that I thought I should show you guys. This little tractor thing is so cool by the way, I want to get this. Oh my god. Here we go. So they've got a pleco and a koi fish that they've just put on the ground. Obviously. You can see the koi fish just gasping because, you know, it's dying. Um, so that's lovely. And then, oh jeez. There's some goldfish and just some like... Rip oh my god. The monkey's just throwing the fish around. Which, I don't even blame the monkey, like, it's just, it's a monkey, it's a wild animal. I don't know why they're treating these wild animals like they're little toddlers, it's so weird. Like, is that why they get away with it? Because they can say it's the monkey doing it and it's, that makes it, like, natural or something, even though it's, like, not. <laughs> like, I don't know, I just don't understand how, like, this one especially, you can just see the fish lying there. And also, how long do they film for? Because how do they- how do you even get a monkey to do this? Like, stay still all the time, you know? Oh, Jesus. Monkey Bim Bam- Bim- Bim Bim rescues cute koi. Oh, so this is supposed to be a rescue. Right. Even though they clearly put the fish there. I think uh, plecos can like survive out of water for like a short period of time, so he's kind of chilling, but also not chilling, you know. Just pushing it as well. Oh my god, that water! Is that fish like even alive? Oh yeah, it's moving. I still think this tractor thing is really cool. <laughs> um, this would be fun to play with. What? Where do all these ones come from? Like, where do they even get these fish from? I assume there's some kind of fish farm, maybe, or something. So they just like to use them and throw them around and stuff. Look at them! They can't even move, they're on their side, just gasping. Oh my god. Oh wow, they're rescued. Oh. Oh my god. The, like, happy music in the background. Oh my god, the plicker, they're just dragging the plicker. Oh, what is happening? Wow, we saved them by putting them in another small body of water. Woo! In case you don't know, fish can get stressed very easily, especially like moving them around and stuff is a very stressful situation for a fish. They can die from stress, and this is so much stress for a fish to go through that I would probably say it, a lot of them would die, especially because they're being thrown around by a monkey. <sighs> Those fish don't seem very well, especially because they get caught by the by the monkey so easily because the fish are so stressed they're not even like moving. But uh, yeah, this is supposed to be a rescue video, so great. If you come across these videos, guys, do report them, please. I would recommend not going to watch the videos, don't comment on the videos, but do report them. Um, you can report them without watching them. If you want to report for animal abuse, you can go to violent or opposed content, and then you can choose animal abuse. That's how you report for animal abuse. I do get a lot of comments asking, like saying you can't report for animal abuse, but you can. They just make it a little bit like hidden, which is weird. I don't know why they don't just make that a whole separate thing because it's such a huge problem on online, but yeah, you do, gotta do it through this, so. Sometimes it does work, like if, if like a video gets mass reported, usually they do get taken down, which I think that might have been some of the reason why the total fake rescues got taken down, because they were mass reported. I got some comments telling me that like a lot of people in like total communities were like mass reporting it and then it got taken down, which is kind of sad that that has to be done to get a video taken down instead of there actually being people on the YouTube team that 
like know stuff about animals. I don't know why that's not a thing. I mean, I guess it's bots, isn't it? But still, it's such an important thing, you know, and it's such a huge problem on YouTube and it always has been. And I, you know, I appreciate them doing some things to stop it, of course, like, you know, stopping some of it is better than stopping none of it, but there's still so much. And this video, these videos get millions of views millions from like kids I think a lot of the time that don't know it's bad and it just looks like you know cute colorful kid content with cute animals that are so happy when that's not what it is it's just stressed animals being put in these dangerous situations uh, and it's really not fair on them it is hard to monitor these kind of videos but some of these you know are videos that have like I said millions of views like this one especially to me is pretty obvious like mistreatment of animals it's obviously very aimed at kids you know it's got funny like kids music and sound effects and you know stuff like that it's super colorful like overstimulating and kids don't understand stuff's bad so they might try to replicate it with their own animals yeah you know, I, I um I've said this before I don't feel like totally comfortable commenting too much on the monkeys because I am definitely not a monkey expert at all but I, I have received a lot of comments saying like you don't need to be an expert to like know this is bad and that's true but I do hope that someone who knows a lot more like actually works with monkeys or something can talk about this more in detail because I don't know like the proper details about these monkeys you know and I'm sure there's someone out there who does if anyone ever makes that video I really hope they do so I can share it because I just feel like it's better for someone who's more educated on monkeys specifically to talk about the monkeys. I mean, I can say pretty confidently that I don't like the care of these monkeys at all. Uh, I don't think it's right to treat them like toddlers, but I feel like there's there could be more that I'm missing, you know? And also I've had a lot of people say that these monkeys get taken as babies from their mothers, which is why they're so tame and so like bonded to the humans because they're taken at such a young age. Now, I have no idea that's true. I don't have a source for that, but you know, it does seem like that's probably the case. Wow, he caught one. Oh, Jesus. Why are they putting it in a tiny ass bowl? Well, so what happens if the fish escape the little thing that they've put them in? This little enclosed area? What if they just escape and then swim out downstream? They're just pretending to catch these fish that they've put there. Are they gonna shove them all in that tiny bowl? Oh, jeez. Oh my god, they're. Poor Corkfish's tail, did you see it? It was all like ripped up. Oh, grabbing it from the fins. Oh, and just throw it in there, yes. It was so pretty, it's such a pretty fish. It was a poor fish. The boat's not really floating anymore because it's too heavy. Wait, what the? Uh, wait a minute, there was, there was like platies in there. Where did they come from? Or mollies? What's gonna be in here? I don't even, I don't know if I wanna know to be honest. Did they just throw the monkey in as well? Oh jeez, there they go. The big fish is stuck, I think. So there's like, there's a f there's a tiger barb. And a, s a small goldfish and a molly? Where do these fish come from? Different types of fish too, tropical fish and cold water fish. What's in that giant thing? I don't know yet. He just grabbed one, he just grabbed- <laughs> That monkey just grabbed one of the fish and then squished it. Oh. Oh no. And ducklings, of course. These random ducklings we found. Gotta shove them in here too. Oh, okay, it's strawberries. Oh, thank God. Uh, at that point, I thought it was gonna be like a snake in there or some shit. What the hell? What happened here? Oh, here's the. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, so here's their fish tank. I've never seen their fish tank before. That's where they keep all the fish. There's a dead fish right here. You'd think they would at least remove that before filming because you can just see it. Oh, Jesus. We've got. Goldfish, we've got glowfish, we've got tiger barbs, we've got cold water fish and, and tropical fish, yeah, in a pretty small tank for that many fish, too. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god. Please run away, duck. Run away, never come back. It just keeps getting worse, man. Like, I, I don't even. This is animal abuse, abusing the monkeys and carp. Yes. Um. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure if they speak English, but like, is this proof right here? Is this, <laughs> like, like, is this so loud even though they literally said it was animal abuse? Uh, so yeah, I mean, what the heck? Let me know what you guys think about these videos. I don't even know what to think anymore, like, I don't know how this is like allowed on here. But like, if you have kids, or you know anyone who has kids, or you have siblings that are like younger, 
and they watch these kind of videos. Maybe don't let them watch these ones. I just don't think that kids should be watching these. I worry that it could teach them to, you know, accidentally misharm an animal or something like that. And please report them because I don't, I don't know why this stuff gets through but other stuff doesn't. Maybe because this stuff gets a lot of views? I don't know. But thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully if you didn't know about this stuff being bad, this could uh, help you know that. And if there's any other videos you want me to react to next, feel free to link them down below. It will like automatically filter out your comment if you leave a link, but I can still see it. It just won't post it publicly because YouTube doesn't allow like links and stuff. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.